Tonight, many residents fear Garfield Heights may be forced to close its rec center. News Channel 5's Curtis Jackson has a story. You're working as a team to succeed. In Garfield Heights, girls' softball games scheduled for Tuesday night were canceled, so teams could unite to take on a common opponent, City Hall. They're hoping to save the rec center. What happens if the worst happens? If they close it, well, our jobs as parents just got a lot harder. Coaches, players, and parents packed the city council meeting to protest against cutting programs at the city's rec center or even closing the facility. Garfield Heights is facing a $1.2 million budget shortfall. The city has already made drastic cuts to public safety and city services. The rec center may be the only source of savings left. If you look at these figures closely, the only way you could say substantial dollars is closing it all together. Their kids play softball, but parents warn they'll play hardball if council shuts down the rec. More important than those 200 children that are standing here today are 400 parents that are registered voters. City officials are exploring other ways to generate revenue, including red light cameras and a controversial billboard that could net the city $400,000 this year. But the fund still won't be enough for players who cherish a league of their own. We need softball, we need the rec center, and I said we need to keep it. In Garfield Heights, Curtis Jackson, News Channel 5.